Hey guys, Zero here again with another Model Kit Monday and today we're going to take a really quick look at the 30 minute missions Alto Ground Type Brown. Uh, it's been a while, I've been wanting to get this kit, um, but finally got it uh, for a really good, for a really decent price actually uh, compared to what everything's costing nowadays. But um, let's get it over to the table and uh, take a look at what goes inside. Sit tight. Here it is, the Alto Ground Type. <sighs> Been waiting for a while to pick up this model kit. Um, not because, you know, I just couldn't get it, but because it was just for a while, man. I don't know. It was ridiculously priced. It was like 30 bucks, you know, for this kit everywhere. Like, I don't know what people were doing or what they were thinking. They lost their minds. Finally found somebody that had it for 22 shipped. And I was like, all right, that's still a little bit much. But to be honest, this kit's around $20. It should be $20, and then the $2, I mean, obviously, it's being shipped to me <laughs> for free. So, you know, can't really complain too much. But like I said, I finally got it because it's like, poof, prices out here right now are ridiculous, man. Right, let's take a look at this. This guy open. All right. Got a lot of sprues there. All right, let's sit tight. All right, here we have the instruction sheet. Um, you can see there, let me bring that up a little bit. Maybe you can pause that. A little description of the auto ground type. Some different configurations with different parts you could use. I kind of like that. It's like, this is what you can do. This guy all the way open here. Your typical 30 minute missions instructions. Almost all the high grades are like this too, so I can't really complain. There you go. This one's pretty big. It actually is almost like a full book. Look at that. So, from the other kits that I've built, I noticed, you know, pay attention to these, and it looks like they're last minute stuff, but no, pay attention to these in the build, like, stop for a minute when you're going to the legs and stuff, and take a look at these, because this is obviously the parts you're going to need. Alright, here is the A sprue, just like the uh, Porta Nova Brown. They're all the same, it's all the same colors, like the tan, the chocolate brown, and then the yellow for the lens. Well, that's pretty cool. And these are all the standard Alto parts too, which is kind of nice. Like I said, it, a lot of these kits, the, well, these newer ones, they have the original kit plus the extras for the um, the ground type. Okay, here's the B sprue, the deep chocolate brown. And B sprue is pretty much the entire frame of these kits. They're almost identical. Here is the UTF1 sprue, and this is the first sprue with the parts for the ground type kit. Here is the UTF1 sprue and the second half of the parts for the ground type. I didn't notice like both those sprues are warped. Look at that. I don't think I mean the parts look fine, but it just looks like this the tree got warped. Here is the UTG1 sprue, and this is again, this is the third sprue for the ground type. This is the bazooka and tank treads. Here is the UTG2 sprue, and this is just more of the tank tread parts. And here is the polycap sprue, the PC1 sprue. This comes with every single 30 minute missions kit. And finally, we have the decal sheet, uh, the standard Alto decal sheet. Okay, those are all the parts for the Alto ground type. Now let's do that thing, you know, we'll get it built and put it on the spinner Rooney. All right, guys, sit tight. All right, here is the uh, Alto ground type with everything that it comes with. Um, we've get a sticker sheet, we've got an extra uh, faceplate, which the standard Alto comes with. We've got the standard Alto feet, okay, with uh, toe guard or whatever you want to call that. 
a set of lower legs. We've got a set of knee pads and a set of side skirt armor covers. And then we have these two joints. And if I'm not mistaken, these are the same ones that come with the um, ground vehicle, the tank, which I'll show you guys in a second. But that's, uh, and of course the bazooka. You also get the uh, Roy Roy. All right, so let's get a look at this guy. So what's different on this kit is you've got this side skirt armor. You've got completely different lower legs and feet and knee pad. And look at this. You've got the backpack, which is basically another tank unit. And I have it spun around just because it looks cooler on the backpack like that. But you've got the, um, that's the backpack there, but you know. Just pop that off. Now you've got some kind of ground unit that you can connect all kinds of things to, of course, because of the three millimeter peg holes. And I just use it this way because I just feel like it looks better on the back. There we go. And you've got the, also you've got these armor plates here. And they're on the standard, like, uh, same thing, three, three millimeter peg, but it's also got the swivel peg adapter, like uh, most of the shields come with on most of the other kits. Same type of connector. Uh, and then you've got the new face plate. And I've actually backed the uh, lens with a clear chrome or metallic chrome. pretty top heavy because of the backpack so uh, it's a good thing that the Alto's uh, waist joint like that ball socket joint is, is is a bit tighter than the Proto Nova's otherwise this guy would be like falling over constantly uh, <clears throat> the bazooka like all the other 30 millimeter or you know 30 minute missions kits you can take it apart and configure it pretty much any way you want uh, or for you know somewhat any way you want you got that there and pretty it's, it's got the same articulation as all the other 30 minute missions kits so you know let me spin that like that's shoulder armor that there I found that this and this centerpiece, I don't know if you can see the blue there. This center shoulder or center armor on mine, I don't know if it's on all of them, but on this one, it's super, super loose. Like all of it just falls off. So now, I mean, I got a, I got the, I got it blue tacked, so it stays in there. But if I take this off, let me show you guys. Take that blue tech off. You get that little piece there. It's see, it's like super. It just comes right off. It doesn't. I mean, I guess you could. I guess you could shake it off, but it's just really loose, so it doesn't peg in like all the other armor does. All right, so here it is next to the tank, the uh, ground unit, and I wanted to kind of show like. I mean, I mentioned it before, I believe, in the tank video. But I wanted to show you guys that this, this piece here, these pieces here, these treads, are completely different from these treads. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the same uh, armor structure. So, you, you know what I mean? Like... In case you, you were thinking, okay, it's just the same pieces over and over. It's not. It's actually different pieces. I mean, and this one's kind of designed so that you can stand the Alto on top of them. So you can, you can, you can peg them in, his feet into the treads. And 
I'm not a fan of that look at all. Like it just doesn't, it looks cheesy and not well thought out. So I don't use that. All right, so there we are, man. That is the um, 30 minute missions, Alto ground type. It's a pretty interesting kit. Not a big fan of the the legs. Like I don't I don't like the way the legs just open up like a giant bell, and you can just see the joints of the feet and all that stuff. But other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty cool. It gives you, I mean, it's basically an alto right with a bunch of extra stuff. So that's the thing with some of these, right? Like you're just getting a really cool amount of different pieces that you know don't warrant their own kit, I guess. You know, so they just slapped them in with some other kits. You know. And I'm not saying they didn't have this in mind when they built this, but, you know, you can tell. It's like, it's definitely a bunch of extra parts for you to be really as creative as you want to be with them. All right, guys, as always, um, like, subscribe, share. Um, and if you're interested, you can check me out on Tabletop Dungeoneers Discord server or the Fox Valley Gumpla Discord server. Link's in the description. All right, guys, thanks for watching.